Roger, Roger. Very good. Hey, old, I, I've been sitting here listening to you talk to Jim up there. Did did he sound all frequency to you? Uh, yeah, I had. I just used my red. Uh, I know he's on a, you know, a CB or 2970, and, and so it's going to move a little bit. I just chased him a little bit. It, it wasn't bad. Well, that's what I did too. I turned my red on, and, and and for me to pull him in good, it seemed like I was going up about a about 120. Yeah, that that, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, that's where I had him, but uh, um, yeah, just chase him around, and then on your radio there, if you say if you were using your writ, and uh, you had somebody else who came in that was dead on frequency, and you wanted to hear them too, you can push that XFC button right there by the VFO, I think it's on by the VFO on yours, and it'll receive on the normal frequency, and then when you let it go, it'll pick back up where the writ left. Well, okay, Rusty. I'm glad you told me that. You know, I've been wondering what the hell I would use that XFC button for, and now I know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, try it sometime, man. You'll, you'll find somebody, say, like when him and I were talking, um, and you had to use your writ, and you wanted to hear me. Of course, I'm long-winded. Uh, you would hit the F XFC button, so uh, there you go, man. Well, that's what I was having to do. I was having to dial my writ up to hear understand him then I was having to dial it back down to understand you better but you're telling me if I dial up to uh, understand him well then when you start talking I can just hit hold that XFC button in and you'll come back in on my receive on frequency is that right that's right that's right I wish it locked I wish it locked to where you, you know but you wouldn't have to hold it in you know but unfortunately, you can't toggle it in. You just have just a momentary switch, so you have to hold it in. But yeah, it's a handy feature. Okay, well, good. It's, it's, uh, at least now, I can, I can, when, because I do use my wrist every now and again, but now I know what that whole thing is. That's good. It, it, it'd be better sitting there holding that for a moment or so rather than having to dial that wrist back and forth. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, you'll fool with it. Like I say, uh, with the button right now, you know, just sitting there and you had to move, say, like a hundred uh, cycles to find him. And then I came in there, you just hit that XFC and uh, you'd be able to hear me just normal. But but it's best when uh, uh, you're talking to somebody and uh, uh, somebody else jumps in there. It's a pretty cool feature. Yeah. Well, I just heard Jim come back in there. Uh, Y'all were talking at the same time, so I'm not sure. Hey, Jim, what's that? I was just was wondering uh, what type of radio you guys were talking about like, when you're talking about the vehicle and the red foot. And so I was just wondering what kind of radio they were. Well, uh, I forget what that is. I believe... Uh, Rusty is talking on an ICOM. I forget which model it is, 76. Uh, Rusty, you'll have to let me know that. I done forgot. But I'm talking on an ICOM 7300. Roger that. Yeah, you don't have a buddy that talks on a voice. You only listen to radio, so not too familiar with those ones, but I know a few people that have them. They sure like Hey, Rusty, what radio was that that you're sitting there using? Yeah, I'm on a 7600, 7600, and, uh, yeah, I just used that feature while y'all were talking, and uh, I got Jim about maybe 200 cycles off, and uh, and then I used the XFC, and I heard you perfect there, Roger. Yeah, Tim Rogers, that's what I just did. I, dialed, I just did exactly what you just uh uh, explain to me about. I dialed in on his signal and got him in. Yeah, and I'm up about 160, 170, somewhere along in there. And then when you came back to me, I just held that XFC button in, and you came right back in like you're supposed to. Yep, that's a, oh, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, uh, I've been sitting here listening to you. I can hear you on the flat side real good. 
thinking about getting a flat side beam and uh boy if i can point it out your way it might help but yeah the noise level goes down tremendously flipping it to the flat side there and uh i'm able to hear you really well so and this is just a wire this is just a homemade uh wire dipole up there up underneath my uh oh uh imax 2000 on the tower um just right up underneath it with a fiberglass rod holding that wire out so uh anyways yeah it seems to receive you real well well i know what i've been talking for a couple of years now about getting me a, a set of horizontals and and i still think i'm gonna do that i, I might even pull the trigger on it and do it this year but yeah i've been thinking the same thing you know everybody keeps telling me how quiet the flat side is Yeah, there you go. Hey, Steve, why don't you pick up that CQ if you want to? I'm gonna, I gotta go get some water and uh, check on my wife, but I'll be around in here. Alrighty. Thank you. 